Hey guys, this is Tim Fraser from 5dOptions.com and I wanted to spend a little time to build a podcast for those of you who follow me on both on social media as well as on my LinkedIn uh, for the kind of the transformational changes I'm doing um, both for myself as well as what I help with other, with other people. Uh, I've been asked a lot to spend some time with, with folks uh, that um, you know would really like to see how to do mindset, uh, mind, mindset shift, as well as, uh, you know, change your career and put it back on track, uh, aligned to the passions and aligned to their, their personal interests. And that doesn't mean it has to be in conflict with your job. Uh, it may mean that you may reevaluate your job. You may reevaluate uh, what you're doing, as I have done, uh, and, uh, and put yourself on a road to a new beginning. So, this picture behind is my one of my favorite. Uh, it represents uh, sort of the road to a new beginning. Um, I've, uh, you know, the road is uh, is is yours to take as where you want to go. Okay, so let me explain uh, a little bit about myself. Um, those of you who know me uh, might might recognize some of this. I've been working in the technology industry since I was nineteen, and, and I've gone through um, many many transformations, um, both as a leader in that space as well as a technologist learning to really adapt to the change. As you know, technology changes uh, very rapidly. Um, and if you're not in a place to learn and relearn, um, it's, it's, you're going to get left behind. And a lot of my friends go, how come you, know, you have survived this long? You know, for a person who's a little longer in the tooth, maybe. Um, I have uh, been fortunate that I, the key thing I learned when I was much younger uh, was I learned how to learn. And I want to share and embark on some of the foundational concepts that I have actually really embraced in my life to, to, to understand how can I stay on top of my technology game, but also be personally resilient um, in, in, my, in, in the tough things that I've done in, in through my life. And some of those are having jobs that I did not enjoy, companies that I, did, I worked for that, that were not exciting. Um, I'm at that stage where I have... Um, I uh, made a decision to uh, part from my, uh, from my uh, uh, previous employer. Um, I'm in a place where I am starting new beginnings for myself. And in my particular case, I'm still going to maintain a technology focus, but I'm going to look at this as a service to others. This is all about what have I learned that I can impart upon uh, those of you who are interested in, in following uh, my, my, uh, my blog and, and uh, as, as well as the, the podcast series. Uh, that this is uh, this is the start of. So my my new beginnings really starts from my birthday, which was on the 31st of January, and I gave myself a birthday present. I I walked away from a well-paying job in a in a very exciting uh, industry segment um, in uh, in the Salesforce arena, but I've done a lot of things way beyond that. So <clears throat> I gave myself a birthday present. I decided that I was going to switch. To where my passion is and i've discovered over the years technology alone and and working in in the grind of getting things done and delivering to for clients needs is 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 really a learning ground for me to to bring these these messages to you because i've learned a lot of things on, on how to manage the technology how to manage the space how to manage the people how to manage the, the leadership how to be a, a thought leader in an organization to to drive uh towards really staying resilient and, and staying current um, so my new beginnings from this forward, from this day forward, is really about bringing a program which let's just say it's going to be 90 days to new of new beginnings, and I'm going to cover uh, many topics. So let's just start with the next uh, for the next three to four days. We're going to cover really the purpose and the goals of the 90 day program in more detail. Um, the, I'm going to discuss the uh, the importance of embracing and seeking professional help. Uh, for personal growth, both uh, professional, technical, and as well as personal development. Now, your personal development is not really just reading a bunch of mindset, mindset shift books. This is really embodying the, the key behaviors, as well as being in a place where you connect with your passion. If you're not connecting with your passion, and if you're not in a place where you are aligned to the value systems that you're in, um, you just you're gonna have a lot of struggle, and uh, and I certainly did as well. So I will say this: <clears throat> as much as I enjoy my work, I've chosen to walk away from it, uh, walk away from a you know, like I said, a corporate job, and and take a step in in the direction where I will build um, uh, products and services, 
um, and I will use my my business uh, expertise to and technical expertise to impart some knowledge and and, uh, and some uh, uh, gift to those of you who are following this program and any follow up work that you do with me. So I definitely just for full transparency, I'm going to be doing the 90 day program, but I also am looking for those of you who are connecting with my message, understand what I've done. I'm going to be very real. Uh, those of you who know me know that uh, one of my, my key um, uh, traits is to be truthful about and, and brutally honest and truthful about what is working and what's not working and how can we go about changing them. It's easy to see the problem. It's sometimes, sometimes you can't see it, but it is, it's, for me, it's easy to see the problem. But creating a program that can help you transition and, and transcend those problems is really what this program is about. So <clears throat> I will, I'll create a space for us to work together. Um, use your use your experience and bring your experience to the table. I will give you some uh, some assignments as I have been uh, doing for myself to challenge myself in my thinking and my and the approach I'm taking to build my businesses going forward. So I would welcome those of you who are listening to this to this uh, message. Uh, that you follow the links that may be on the screens, uh, depending on which way this video turns out, um, that you follow the links, reach out to me, and let me know that you're interested if there are specific topics that is that are that you're challenging uh, yourself with and you'd like to know more about, how did I handle it? Uh, I'm going to give you my journey, my story, uh, my, my methodology, and, and the approach that I'm taking to go forward. So <clears throat> on that note, I, I want to just uh, impart on you a, a uh, open road, find your nice car. Uh, maybe you'll take a bike, maybe you'll, you'll ride, maybe you'll walk, maybe you'll walk, the, you'll walk the, uh, the mountains. Get your head clear. This is an opportunity to get your head clear and move in a direction that is going to be in line with your passion and in line with your, your true nature and your purpose in life. And it may or may not be your job. So if you want to follow on, Click forward to the next video when it comes out, and we'll we'll, have, we'll take another discussion, and we will cover, like I said, uh, the 90 day program in detail. We'll cover the uh, the learning opportunities. We'll cover some um, some aspirations that you may have, and we'll do some uh, interactions potentially on some on a social media platform that uh, where this will get posted, where we can actually interact and, and talk about the topics and uh, and uh, explore deeper understandings of this. So. <clears throat> The next big chapter in this in this uh, 90 day program is going to be understanding personal values. You have to start with your personal values because until you get those right, you're not going to know if you're in the right place. So I will uh, break that down on the next uh, next conversation we have and we'll go into the personal values and we'll see how your personal values are in alignment. And you, you're going to have an opportunity to do to look at the man in the mirror and go, Am I really doing the things that are um, true to my to my nature and to my passions in life? So on that note, Tim Fraser, 5D Options, we'll see you on the next round. Thank you.